<laughs> okay, guys. I just like the last video. The crows are out. Hi guys, Chuck here, KK6USY, Am Radio Adventures. Hey, just wanted to give you a quick view of an antenna project I've been working on. Uh, I'm just going to basically just going to show you what I've made so far. And uh, th this antenna was designed by Colin. Uh, I'll put his call sign and uh, his channel down below in the uh, description. You know, the description is down below the title of the video. Okay, so this is called the Adjusted Wave Antenna, and I've made mine more on his newest antenna that he's working on, which is more of a, a lightweight packing type one that you can take places. And uh, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Just a quick overview, not how to build it, nothing like that, just show you what the parts are. Oh, by the way, if, you, uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, would you? Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, and you can always unsubscribe if you want to. And while you're at it, hit the all, that way you'll get all my future videos. As always, hit that like if you, if you enjoy what you're seeing here. It helps the algorithm with uh, YouTube and gets my video out to more people that like this kind of content. All right, let's let's uh, let's get into the uh, showing you what this thing's all about. Hello, everybody. Chuck here, KK6USY, Ham Radio Adventures. Just giving you a quick view of the uh, adjust wave antenna that I built myself. Um, Colin from Scotland. He's the uh, first person I ever saw to make one like this. I'll show you a close-up, but here it is. It's on a pack tenna, 10 meter pole. And it goes up all the way up. And my good buddy, Ham Radio Dude, you see the red part at the top, he printed that for me, which saved me some weight on this antenna. That holds the two uh, outriggers, if you would. And right there, if you look right in the middle of the picture, that's a pulley, and there's a pulley there. So what happens, sorry for the quickness, is off of that pulley it goes up, up to the pulley, over to the other pulley, and then back down to, see that black spot right there? That's the end of 40. That's, and that's stainless steel downrigger wire hooked to 150 pound braid. And that comes all the way down, it's hard to see there. There you catch it again. To this pulley and then back to the other reel. Let me uh, show you a close up of all that now. So, what this antenna uses, these are uh, fly reels, spools. I've got a little electrical box that I bought, which is almost exactly the same width and height as the actual um, reels. On the back here, I've got these. I forget, I forget exactly the name. I'll put them in, down below in the uh, description. Um, they're made for handles of like uh, shovels and axes and stuff like that to hang on a wall. This is a fiberglass tube, basically a tent, a tent pole that goes over to a pulley. I use three of these pulleys. Let me get a little closer on that. I think this is about as close as I can get. Okay. Like I said, this is a 150 pound braid line for fishing line. Okay, so what I have here, this is a second lead. It's nice to be able to go from um, 40 to 20. That's my two main bands. So this is actually a 20 meter leg that goes up the pole. Up to right up there. It's got a little bungee cord to keep it tight. Okay. And I'm caught in all my wires. It's the worst thing about the radios and the spider webs everywhere. Now, the way I had this mounted, and this tape was just some stuff I had for the radios to keep them wound up. So here on this side, there's the other reel and these these are tension you put these down and it locks them in place okay so there is some tension on it 
Again, here's the, uh, this is just another lead. I can hook as many antennas to this as I want. Okay, and then down the, down the bottom here, it's hard to see. I got my coax connector. And then over here is my ground radials. And on my ground radials, I have two sets um, into a power pole. And they just connect on. I, I can leave these connected or put them on when I get there. It doesn't take much time. And I've got six leads on this one, four on the other. Six leads here, four on the other one on the other side. And just got them fanned out around the, uh, the antenna itself. Now, for mounting this one, I've got a video on how I made a, a stake that has PVC inside of it. And uh, that PVC is pretty tight to the inner diameter of this pole. Believe it or not, this thing has been sitting here for about six days now. The first day, we actually had some decent winds. And uh, it held up really well. I think the, uh, the wire and the uh, string here with a little bit of tension on them keeps the top of the uh, antenna from really moving a whole lot because it didn't move a whole lot in the wind. Now for 80, I've got enough on here to do, I think Colin says they'll do two, two meter is the, uh, the highest frequency. And I've got enough wire and hard to wire on here to do 80 also. I may have to actually do 80 as an inverted L because the pole is not quite tall enough, I don't think. I haven't tried it yet. Um, it depends on the linear loading. Now this, this wire, this is wire. It's basically stainless steel downrigger wire. And it's pretty pliable. It doesn't, uh, doesn't want to kink up. It does want to, if you, if you leave to, not enough tension on these reels where they're tight and if it spins it will kind of spin off a little bit and you have to redo it but not too bad now right now i've got um, with the 20 meter league lead and this one i've got i have 20 and 40 i can just switch back and forth from uh you know the 20 lead here and then the wire, the main wire. I can go between 20 and 40, which is changing the radio. Both of those bands are at 1.38 to 1. Pretty much both bands, it, it more than covers the band. Uh, my A57 it hardly shows any, most of the time it doesn't show any SWR on the radio. But I did use a, a uh, actual antenna analyzer on it. I did add more radios to it. But it didn't really seem to help the SWR any. I don't know if it helped actual transmission. Now, between here and San Diego, I've got some good buddies that I talked to there. It's a couple, two or three S units down. And that makes sense because this has a lower, ta well, down from my doublet. That kind of makes sense because the takeoff angle of this should be a lot lower than the doublet. So for really short distances, this is not a really good one. I did make a contact into Montana the other day, which is pretty pretty good distance for um, 40 for me. He was pretty strong. He was like an S8, and I was about the same to him. Unfortunately, I was just playing with the radio. I didn't really get any video of that. And then I did, uh, I did get into Alaska on 20 that night also, and uh, he was like an S8 to me, and I was about an S6, 7 to him. So this thing really works. A lot of people say that the stainless steel wire doesn't work. Well, that's not true. It works really well, and it's very durable. I mean, you're not going to break that stuff. It's shoot. I think that thing's. I think it's at least a 150 pound test. Also, all right. Just a quick look for you guys. Hope this is helpful. Oh, look at that. Nice sticker. If you're in Huntsville, look me up for a sticker. Okay, that's a pretty cool antenna. I hope you guys enjoyed the view there. Um, it's really versatile, like, you know, for two bands. Yeah, pretty easy to set up. Tell you the truth, the first time I set it up, it only took me about 10 or 15 minutes at max, and that was just taking my time. Uh, a lot less things to do than some of the other antennas that are similar to this thing. And basically, you just take those reels and you reel out what band you want. 
Um, I did not, I kind of messed up and I think I can still fix it, but uh, I tied the knot for the, uh, from the stainless steel to the fishing line, the, uh, the braided line, and I forgot to put my uh, markers on, the, on there first. It's just, he uses heat shrink that has glue in it. I'm gonna try and slit it, put it on, see if it holds, and then, you know, with, this, with the same type of stuff with the, uh, the glue. So if you, if you like this video, and you're new here, think about subscribing. Uh, like I said, it doesn't cost anything, and you can always unsubscribe if you don't if you don't like my channel. I mean, some people, it's not for everybody. I do a lot of stuff on uh, ham radio, uh, antenna builds, battery box builds. I do uh, summits on the air, parks on the air. And someday I'm going to do an islands on there. So this is Chuck, KK6USY, for Ham Radio Ventures. And don't forget that like, 73 all, and uh, we'll catch you on the airways.